Really? We're not considering anything, but all options are on the table. Does that mean you're considering those? Which is military? all options, always. All options are on the table. The president there talking about Venezuela, the Trump administration facing a potential diplomatic crisis tonight. Venezuela's president, Nicolás Maduro, who is now who the U.S. calls illegitimate, ordered American diplomats to leave the country within 72 hours. President Trump now says, as you heard, that all options are on the table as an international campaign against Maduro grows. Luigi Boria is the former mayor of Doral and was the first Venezuelan-born mayor in Florida. He joins us now. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for taking having the time. me. Uh, so these anti-government protests that we're seeing in Venezuela, they seem momentous, historic. Do you think this is essentially the end of Maduro's regime? Well, definitely, because it's the first time that uh, the assembly uh, get together and elect a, a person that is really the legitimate president of Venezuela. Maduro has no power anymore. He is already gone. He, the, the, the new president is uh, Guaido, and he's the one that is now uh, can dictate the new rules in order to govern the Venezuelan people. Well, let me ask you this. You've been away from Venezuela for a while. How connected do you remain with Venezuela? What's happening there? What, have you heard anything about what is happening lately with the protests and the government response to these protests? Yeah, the, you know, you see yes, today was uh, amazing the amount of people, millions of people were in the street protesting for, you know, having Maduro out of uh, Venezuela. I think uh, it's the end of it, and I think th the President Trump has said it. He's going to support the new president, and now he has to call for the new elections. But in the meantime, what he's saying about, you know, taking out all the diplomats from the uh, American embassy. He has no power to do that. And he, he, he can create a rule to get all the diplomats out all over the, the, the world and get it out because he's now the person who has to dictate who is going to uh, r control the embassies all over the world. So let's talk about the opposition leader who the U.S. has now publicly supported, Juan Guaido. Um, what authority does he have to make himself, to declare himself the new president, and, and what role does the government play in that? Well, it, it, it's like the Congress here, the real Congress elected by the people, was uh, 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 Juan Guaido and all the people that represent the, uh, the Assembly, La Asamblea Nacional. And then they're the one that can dictate the rules. Uh, Maduro just made an election last year, which out of the, the, the time that the, he was supposed to get elected, and then nobody went to that election. Only, I think, two million people out of 30 million people that have Venezuela. Now, the, 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 con the, the Congress in Venezuela, the real Congress, is saying the new president is Juan Guaido and he's the one that today made his swearing ceremony and he said I'm the new president and now the world is supporting the new president. Maduro is just there because uh, he wanted to be there. He's a dictator. He has a bunch of people that are just, uh, uh, I, will, I will say, criminals directing the country which they don't have any more power. All right, the United States has recognized Guaido. The United States uh, is standing firm against Maduro, but we still uh, buy oil from Venezuela. Why hasn't that changed, and what impact would that have if the United States said, we're not going to buy any more of your oil? Well, that, that's part of the, the regulation and the sanctions that they put in place to the country of Venezuela. And I think there is more to, to see. I, I don't know what the President Trump is going to do, but uh, the new president has the power to say we need help. And he can request the United Nations to send the, the army to Venezuela. And, and that's something that never happened before. He's doing the right thing in the right moment. I think there is hope for the people of Venezuela, the humanitarian help that is really needed in Venezuela. People are starving, and, and, and this is, uh, the, they don't want to stay in that way anymore. They need uh, help from this country and from the whole world. Okay, Luigi Boria, thank you very much for thank joining you. us. Thank you.